Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our daily hacking news series. Hit the like button to give a shout out to our team. Now let's get right into the video. So first news related to Russia. So basically a ransomware game believed to have a strong ties with the Russian said Wednesday that it will release the files it took from the Belarusian government agency responsible for refugee management and a national that has reportedly hosted hundreds of thousands of fleeing Ukrainians. So basically Logby 2.0 posting a notice to the dark web portal it uses to identify and extort its victims saying it had files from Belarusian state agencies for refugees under the Council of Ministries. So all available data will be published. The notice read under the group trademark Bright Red Countdown Clock which has May 9 publication date but no specific posted ransomware demand. So what do you think? Uh, which country is having the best uh, hackers group? Just comment it down. If Russia, then why? Now next news is related to NFT. So basically the users of creator oriented online platforms such as DeviantArt and Pixiv in Japan are receiving fake job offers related to messages from the cyberpunk ape exclusive NFT project. The goal is to infect artist devices with misinformation and information steal. So according to Malwarebyte, attackers are luring artists with offers to work on further expansion of the project and design new sets of characteristics with offer of up to $350 per day. Now the next news related to attack. So DDoS attack leveraging a new amplification technique called TCP middle box reflection are emerging as a powerful threat to organize. So the attack abuses vulnerability firewall and the content filtration system to reflect and amplify TCP traffic to victim machine. So according to a researcher, the new attack method can be triggered through firewall, network address transmission, load balancer and deep packet infection boxes by sending a malformed sequence of TCP packets. Now the last news related to laps lapses dollar. So a new report by the NCC group has revealed how lapsed dollar attacks are launched. The report disclosed details regarding the technique and tactics of the highly unpredictable attacks and how to group targeted it victims. So in the last five months, basically lapses gained notoriety with successful breaches of Microsoft, Nvidia, Okta, and Samsung. So have you ever heard of the lapses group hacking lapses dollar hacking group or quantity ransom group? If yes, comment it, it down and from where you have heard. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, comment down your feedback. You may subscribe because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So at last, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.